What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and continue learning about Norwegian reality TV shows, part two. If you haven't seen part one, feel free to go check that out or stay right here. But I am really, really impressed by these Norwegian reality TV shows so far. In part one, I was learning about some fantastic outdoor Norwegian reality TV. Those are some of the most popular Norwegian reality TV shows, are all these outdoors shows, survival shows, adventure shows, physical shows, contests. I love that stuff. In America, America is kind of obsessed with dating shows romance shows, uh, <laughs> dating reality TV has like dominated reality TV in America. So we have a couple of shows that are like outdoorsy, but these Norwegian shows I'd never seen before. In part one, we saw this show 71 degrees north, where people are, are racing up nor from the south of Norway to the north of Norway to 71 degrees. They're hanging from... <laughs> ropes on little hammocks. Uh, <laughs> like, this is just amazing stuff. Then we learned about this survival guy where this guy is surviving out for months at a time in extreme conditions. Fantastic. And then I think this is one of the most popular as well. Um, Masterness Master, where a lot of retired or famous Norwegian athletes come on this show and compete against each other. Yes, they compete against each other in challenges and they also talk to each other and discuss things and it's very interesting to learn about them as people as well as athletes. And these are just, I, maybe I'm a bit biased because I really, really, really love the ideas of all these shows, but I feel like the Norwegian reality TV looks a lot better than the American reality TV. Maybe America does a, a better job with dating shows, but I really am more attracted to shows like this. And, and these have an element of social interaction to them, especially this, Masterness Master, but these just seem like such great ideas for shows. And I'm shocked that America doesn't have the like spin-offs of these shows because these seem great. I love what Norway is doing with the reality TV, and there's a couple more shows here in part two for me to learn about. So I'm very excited for what remains. So let's take a look. Norwegians uh, from uh, November until March, uh, each weekend there will be a competition, skiing competition like this. Winter sports. I don't know if I would call this reality TV. This is like a, I guess it technically is reality TV because it's reality. And I guess the reason this is on this list is because winter sports and skiing in particular is such an important part of Norwegian culture. And I, I there is a couple things here I am interested to learn about, like how there's, it's so popular, there's like a different sport, winter sport competition or skiing on almost every day in winter. Is that true? And there will be a competition, skiing competition like this. Norwegians, huh. you might think that they are out in the woods or they are being active and maybe on skiing themselves. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> The life lie of us Norwegians is that during winter. <laughs> so he's 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 gonna say during winter, instead of being out in nature and skiing, <laughs> Norwegians are at home watching other Norwegians ski, which is very funny and honestly makes a lot of sense because it's such a big passion for so many Norwegians. You want to support the best athletes in your country. And it's also just really entertaining to watch people who are the best at something 
on TV, so I get it. We stay home on the coach, <laughs> watching Norwegian athletes win everything there is to win. <laughs> that, there we go. That's the, there's the reason. Okay, of course, I didn't think of that. Another big part of it is <laughs> it's probably very fun to watch your home country and countrymen <laughs> absolutely dominate sport, certain sports, especially skiing and winter sports that Norwegians are so, so good at. That's probably very fun to watch as well. Okay. In a sport uh, category <laughs> that nobody else in the world cares anything about. I find it extremely <laughs> yeah, boring. Yeah, but we win everything. We feel that <laughs> Norway is the best in the world, on top of the world. We are the only one that are interested. Because we are and the only one winning. most people in the world don't give a peep. <laughs> that is true that, at least for America, most Americans don't have any idea what's going on in winter sports or skiing or anything like that. We have no idea. It's, it's not shown on our television. Like, it'd be very, very hard for me if I even wanted to watch. I'd have to, like, go especially subscribe to that or something. But I totally understand why this is so popular in Norway. Um, and it's honestly very, very cool. I, I didn't quite realize during the winter, there must be a lot of like winter championships for different winter sports. I, that makes a lot of sense when you think about it. But trust me, as an American, I don't think about this very much, but I totally get it. It's like Americans, honestly, it's like Americans watching football or basketball or like, you know, sports we're obsessed with and that we think we're the best at. Uh, Norwegians have winter sports, skiing, all the different skiing events. And honestly, every time the Winter Olympics comes around and finally winter sports does get shown on a global stage, Americans, like, I find myself very interested in it because it's something... We never get to see, ever, every four years. Every four years we get to see winter sports. And we're like, oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. That's kind of awesome. But Norwegians, Norwegians can be, are very proud of how great they are at it. And that makes a lot of sense to me. So, okay, this does deserve to be on this list of uh, reality TV shows in Norway. Look, is that the Russian? Mm. It's the uh, only one not yeah. from Norway. A national <laughs> pride, a national orgy in just <laughs> being the best in the world. Right, right. There, There is a big element of Norwegian pride that I, I'm starting to understand. Okay. It's funny. I never thought about skiing as a reality TV show, but I think it counts because it is so important. You <laughs> on it. Yes. <laughs> Come here, Norge! Hey, 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 hey! Is that like a Norwegian cheer, cry for skiing or something? Okay. Uh, what do we have here? The winner. Oh, is this the number one reality Norwegian reality TV show? Der Ingen Skull True at Nokken Kubu. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what? Uh, this is the last of the Norwegian TV shows. And this, I will say, it has the same ingredients. It's nature. It's one Norwegian or maybe two out there in the nature. It's always about forcing the yeah. powers and, of nature. And and this the, the whole concept huh? it's called a place where nobody could think that anyone could live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what a title. A place that no one thinks anybody could live. So is this different parts of Norway that are so isolated or difficult to survive in or live in? And then one or two Norwegians goes out and teaches you about it and 
survives, basically. <laughs> it's really so this woman she is living out on an island without any connection to uh, the modern world and she has chosen to live there oh. it's beautiful but she's alone oh they feature different norwegians every episode they highlight different people around norway living in really remote, isolated parts and surviving alone. Uh, I, I think that's a better uh, explanation. I think I get it. I would say that this is the most religious, spiritual uh, program there is. Ah. It's a very... Uh, contemplating. Yeah, contemplating. It's back to nature. Back to nature. It's, oh, it's, it's high, high. Go, go, everything go, that, uh, everything, the, everything uh, you have seen is nature. Yeah, but it's like... Yeah, I, that's a good point. Every single show ha on in the Norwegian reality TV shows here that have been highlighted are nature. And I think that also says a lot about Norwegian culture. I'm sure Norwegians enjoy a good reality drama or dating show, but really seem to more enjoy like something that's connected to nature or outdoors or survival or something like that. It kind of, it's very, it's very Norwegian. It, it makes a lot of sense to me. Like jump of the uh, hamster wheel. Uh. Yeah, we are not going a lot to church, but we are seeking nature. And it's in the nature, you might have guessed that by all the shows there, that you have seen. Fried. Yeah, yeah. And, and her husband that died, and, and she's mm -hmm. there. And I think this is like... And it's she's, she's driving a tractor. The most spiritual, most religious, most Nirvana kind of TV show. It's... Interesting. So, Norwegians actually... This reminds me of Norwegian slow TV, or whatever it was. Norwegian TV show where it's just a train driving down train tracks. It's like Norwegians enjoy kind of a calming, like meditative nature show to just relax too. It's been on for almost 20 years. Wow. This woman or any woman or man living alone on a small farm and, and not being afraid huh. of the dark, not being afraid of being alone. Right. When she's asked, don't you miss anyone, your family, wouldn't you have remarried? Oh, she never and, does. Nah, and they will always say, no, I am fulfilled. It's oh, so you're also, you're watching other Norwegians who are like living a very meditative life of happiness and simplicity. And that kind of rubs off on you getting to watch it on TV. Okay, I get it. I, this does seem very, very, like a very, very pleasant show. A little more, not so aggressive as some of the others where they're climbing up mountains and hiking and in competition. This is a different type of show. Much more relaxing. Uh, so I, I get it. It's not that I'm feeling alone. It's like when the boat with the... Uh, yeah, it's the, the nature. From, the uh, wind or uh, the snow or something like that. It's never her or him being alone. Okay. Okay, guys. That was our top huh. five TV shows from Norway. Which huh. of them would you have watched? Huh. Which of them would you have participated in? I wish I Of course. And... Do I like this one, Champion of the Champions, uh, where it's all the retired Norwegian athletes competing against each other. That seems like such a blast and such a good way to highlight retired famous athletes as well. I think, I think all of these are so great, like honestly. Do you have a show from your country that it's not world famous, but a typical show for you? If you are a new subscriber, you subscribe, you push the bell, and you... Okay. Well, on that note, this video is by Your Way to Norway, and I did like it. I gotta give that a like. This was great. I'm so happy he made this, because as an American, I'm not exposed to any Norwegian TV, and reality TV is such a big part of American culture, I was like... Norwegian reality TV, what the, what is that going to be like? And Norway really prioritizes different things than American TV. American TV is all about drama, drama, romance, 
uh, <laughs> that it, it's a whole industry. Whereas Norway, these at least were much more based on like much more wholesome, much more grounded, relaxing, or or based around nature or outdoors, and that was so refreshing to me. Honestly, that's really refreshing. Uh, let's see if there's any interesting comments here. I would absolutely watch these shows, nature and reality shows, together are something I really enjoy. I could never do the extreme stuff, sleeping on a hammock on the mountainside. <laughs> yeah, these shows are awesome. I don't know if I'd be able to do any of this, though. That, that seems a little scary. <laughs> I love nature shows. I'm too busy working in nature. <laughs> Cannot help here. Haven't watched TV in the last 10 years. Man, a lot of people here who haven't had time to watch the reality TV shows. You are my Norwegian show. I love you. <laughs> yes. Um, you should have included The Farm or Farmen, a Norwegian concept from 2001 where participants go back in time 100 years and live and work on a pre-modern farm. I love that idea. I love these ideas for shows and take care of farm animals. They have to do different farm tasks each week to make and earn money. That is great, oh my gosh. Both of those were on our list. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Norway has come up with some really, really great concepts for TV shows. Like I swear America should do these. Like I don't care what we have to do, get the rights to it, pay some kind of fee, I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm not sure what the human lifespan is in Norway, but I'm guessing it's pretty long. Either that or living with this much pain, suffering, cold, sun exposure, loneliness, exhaustion, and deprivation must make it seem long. Very long. <laughs> okay. Oh, so people enjoy the reality TV in Norway. And I have to say, I really, really enjoyed this. This was such a fascinating look into... Norwegian culture, and also, of course, reality TV in Norway. Like, I had no idea. But now that I know a little bit more about it, it makes so much sense to me. It's very Norwegian. Very, very Norwegian and very pleasant, honestly. So I like this a lot. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and learning stuff about Norway I've never seen or heard about before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.